I have two versions of my future. I have one where it's really great and we have vertical farms and everything is biophilic and like everything is green and lush and all of our homes are smart homes and everything is net zero and really eco-centered. So if we work on building better buildings that are more efficient and produce less emissions, then we can mitigate climate change by quite a lot. And I think that's our future right now, is green buildings. The science is behind more efficient and more ecological ways of technologies. It's just very interesting to me. So I always want to try to take it home with me and look at my house and just the inefficiencies and everything and then see what I can easily change to make it better. I'm actually interested in pursuing biomimicry or something of that sort. And also just doing herbology or something to do with plants. I'm working on a big aquaponics system. The idea behind it is to produce less waste and consume less water and growing microgreens for restaurants around the area. I believe engaging youth in future developments is really important because we are the future and we like to be a part of big things. We, we have big ideas and we just need to be given the opportunity. So environmental studies is mainly focused on trying to like learn about different problems that we have in our society, whether it be like trash in the ocean or having greenhouse gas emissions being kind of spread out throughout Canada. I think it's important to learn because without us learning about it now as youth, we won't be able to preserve the things that we do have in our, in our earth. Really, I think this should be implemented in school's curriculum because I think it's a huge part of how we're going to be when we're a lot older. What I'm doing is I'm working on kind of an organization that will promote green initiatives in schools and it will also promote healthy lifestyles. After school, I want to go into political, municipal, or federal. Learning about this stuff now helps me to think about the ramifications. I've got a lot of hope for the future. I think there's a lot of really good things out there, renewable energy-wise. I think that's a big thing. And I think we just need to open up. Youth right now are pretty engaged. Uh, I think there's a big push to become more environmentally sustainable environmentally focused so hydrogen electric cars I think will become a big thing and also the transition towards solar energy and hydroelectricity instead of oil and gas. Alberta survived on oil and gas or our economy has needed oil and gas for so long and I think to make the transition to more renewable sources of energy we need oil and gas to make sure that we have the money to make the transition. Instead of us mining up a rock, turning it into a battery and throwing it out and then grabbing another rock, if we can grab that battery and make something brand new out of it, that's how I see the future workings. The climate is changing and we must change too. We've had three decades since we first called action on climate change. We've had many technological developments and advancements. Where and when are we finally going to implement these into what we learn at school? This is my call for action. I'm asking all of you here today to contact your local school board. Many people call my generation lazy and entitled, but I can assure you we're exactly the opposite. We want to be a part of this. It's my generation who's going to deal with the climate crisis. We need to be educated and have the resources and infrastructure to withstand climate change. We need a shift in mindset, industry, and the economy.
can bring this energy to building designing, if given the chance. You guys can help us bring change and action by including us in your projects. You haven't been this engaged in a really, really long time. So utilize us. We're here, we want to be a part of it. We can really bring a huge energy to your projects and help you innovate and come up with new ideas.